We've been selling product to predominantly, right. and we've been doing, you know, through summer. So it's right. Okay. Right. There's right. a bit of an issue right. here that it's a small percentage of the population that has the right. kids under 18. Yeah. And right. I'm noticing, right. Joey, that you took the whole sample there, not just the people like kids right. under 18. Well, right. It's just yeah. like this, but it's a bigger graph. So what we'd like to see is for the kids under 18, what right. percentage of those would see right. as a good gift for summer camp. But right. this, this is the whole sample. Right. I didn't catch that. Right. And so we have here, uh, how did you find out about the company and uh, that you bought the care packages from for campers? Uh, we have here, you see that uh, for the sales, looking at the sales aspect, 72% uh, said online and the other 14%, uh, the other two 14% uh, uh, it should be uh, through mail order and by word of mouth. Um, we also found out from from this uh, from these results that uh, well, the conclusion we want to draw is that online promotion and building that building our website, especially for those campers, has definitely increased um, the awareness of, of our candy pizza product. Yeah, basically, in order to move forward for this product to be a success, which of course what everybody wants, online is the biggest thing. I mean, nowadays without an online website, I can't think of any company that does well. To be honest. So if we could start off with a strong online website, we could do customization, have little things on kids can play games on there too. Candy Pizza could be a huge hit, and not just in one state. Um, what motivated you to purchase this uh, particular care package? Um, I mean, we have some quotes here. Uh, to cheer up my child, um, easy to order and uh, order and ship, providing happiness to a loved one. I miss my son and wanted to, wanted him to know that I was thinking of him. Um, I mean, right there, I mean, we can see that out of these two quotes right here, we see that it's mainly parents, um, and especially whether they're young, you know, uh, parents who have young children to having uh, older children in college. Um, and we, that's what we really want to, you know, hone in on and, and focus our our um, our, uh, our advertising. Uh, how often do you send care packages to your campers? in an average summer. Uh, depending on if the camp has a care packaging company, they deal with it, they, they deal with it, uh, they deal with it, will be harder to advertise to campers. Um, unless we speak to the camp and they allow us to become their main care packaging dealers, we shouldn't try to spend the time on the tar on, on this target market due to the possible losses of money. And, I mean, you said uh, right now that you said that most of your sales are from uh, we ship very few, mostly at the right. Okay. We do a huge. That's our big. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So I, what I would think, like local, local camps, say in, in Chappaqua, um, like either baseball camps or Sidway camps, whatever it might be. Um, I mean, you could possibly want to maybe get in and see whether those camps do have certain suppliers for care packaging, mm -hmm. and talk to those. Uh, the most the camps don't camp. let. Most camps do have restrictions on packages. Right, right, and, right. And I probably should have specified that to you that it's not. A, this is not. We've shipped a few, but mostly right. they have gone directly with the. It would be shipped to the parents who would then bring it up to their kids. Oh, okay. I think would be the way they really look through their stuff to make sure they don't have like yeah, so certain is, things. Right, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. This any day is free and clear. It's the only day that they allow. They have 24 hours to be allowed to eat every bit of candy. They distribute it, <laughs> right. and then they throw it all out. Yeah. They do some and kind of function. Yeah. Like, you know, right. That's like why it's not enough for them to promote this at all. When they send I didn't even know about those restrictions, so that's something to add to that. Christina, right. what do you want to add? Um, I just wanted to say that also I think our results did show that the camp is a big thing when it, you obviously have said it is, is because we didn't in that area, in the Scarsdale, in East Chester, in the mm -hmm. Marshmont, and the Chautauqua area, it is a wealthy family, and they do ship their kids off during camp season, and we really didn't get into those areas. With we did have a surprisingly that. very small right. number of people yeah. whose kids even went to camp in our yeah. sample. So I think that's why yeah. the results are showing yeah. that. Okay. So, I mean, as far as um, well, the results that we got, we, we said we probably don't want to touch on that unless we can get into the camp and say, hey, look, do you want to do business with us? Where we can specifically deal to you guys candy pizzas, um, but we really, like okay. I said, results we want to kind of don't want to touch that market. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we found that uh, get well 
packages, uh, party for, buying it for parties, Valentine's Day, um, and and birthdays uh, would do would do most likely uh, better than um, care packages. Care packages. Care packages. Yeah. Correct. It so shows that uh, the best are birthday, Valentine's Day party, care packages as of right now is not something we should be focusing on. If you want to do that, but for us ourselves to do the best thing for you, I don't think realistically we'd be the best person to help you with. Right. 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 Uh, and then this is likely to buy in the 12 month period. You have for get well, a party, Valentine's Day, birthday. You can see birthday is the highest one. Uh, so to really get off the team for advertising with your birthday and kind of gifts, I think it would be the best. Care packages, again, showing it's the likely the least. So it's not something we are going to be focusing on to really get your product out there. Uh, as you see here, we have you know, a bigger graph. This is actually the one I got from the first question. I just sent that out of here. Um, most unlikely, we see over here uh, the summer uh, kids at summer camp, uh, someone in the military, um, college packages for co uh, uh, college students, and uh, other. Now, as far as likely goes, we we as the graph before it said birthday parties, uh, purchases for birthday gifts, birthday parties, Valentine's Day. You see, 64, four, uh, 45, 44 percent uh, candy just to eat. If you wanted to purchase to eat. Um, and then as a graduation, I was thinking as far as graduation gifts goes, uh, more for elementary school and middle school though. Um, so we can see which ones to really focus on. The right. Rest. And then like how likely would you be to purchase candy pizza for each of the following? Right. Assuming price and consideration. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's very similar to all the data was shown. Uh, care packs is going at the least, and for a party of Valentine's uh, gifts the highest. Uh, who would you consider purchasing candy pizzas for in the next 12 months? Uh, we mostly have here friends, other relatives, spouses. Um, we were in the, we were, the re I guess the reasons why we thought for parents, sons, daughters, and other was because um, if it is a birthday gift, uh, I don't think so, a candy pizza would be to give to someone's son or to their mm -hmm. daughter. It'd be more of a personal gift. Uh, as this far is actually more a function of the sample that most of our sample did yeah. not have sons yeah. and daughters. Right, 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 right. So as, as far as, you know, trying to reach from parent to son as for a birthday gift, it would be more of uh, it would be more of a friend who most likely to purchase it. Keep going. So. Uh, who would you consider purchasing candy pizza for in the next 12 months? Um, mostly friends we have here. This is your parents only, Joe, so it right. does show that daughters and sons are a big percentage now with people who have Right, right. And, and, you and you find it's usually a gift you buy along with another gift. So it's not something that they're going to buy as like their big gift is right. like an extra large pizza, which is good because more people are inclined to get it because it's something to fill a slot as well. So which offers us a great market for it. Mm, keep going. Uh, 